Okay, so here we are back again. Ah, just one minute, something's going up. And... Alright, there we go. Sorry about that, had some technical cording issues. Alright, so... I think what we're going to do now is... Yeah, obviously nothing in the heart. I haven't really used the heart on any of these people, so we're going to see what happens. Admiral Havelock has seen more corpses than all the rest put together. He has killed whales and men for profit and in pleasure. Wow, this guy sounds bloodthirsty. He has the bloodlust. He tried to seize control of the military after the Empress. After she... The Empress was murdered. Look at him. Admiral Havelock rose restless on land. There was a younger brother, and an artist, sensitive, soft, taken at nine by a fever. Havelock loved him truly. Admiral Havelock has seen all right, more so there's that. than all the rest put together. And he has nothing really to say. Alright. Each and every night the black eyed outsider visits upon Piero's dreams. Hmm. He is Piero Joplin. Even now he visualizes the next invention. Astonishing. I wish you could see it too. Yeah, it sounds like it's affecting his mind, to be honest. Poor Piero. His elixirs have cured so much for so many, but they cannot cure his brain fears. Yeah, I don't envy him. The youngest ever to pass through the Academy of Natural Sciences. So God will never forgive him that. Hmm. He has spied upon Callista as she bathes. More than once. <laughs> Not surprised. Each and every night the black All right, so that's it. visits upon Piero's dreams. Ask me for any gear you need. Yep, and so that is definitely going to be sleep bolts for your far better price. Oh, do I want to get a rune? Actually, what are some of these? Bolt capacity, spring razor capacity. Mm, nope, nothing really else that I want. I'll debate if I want to get that rune later. I may, I may. Not sure yet. Oh, but we got more stuff. Brutal. That's right, more stuff, more fun. Let's see if he has any more of those, any phonographs. Uh, he's got more whale meat. Don't really need that. And doesn't look like his phonograph is here. Alright. Let's get out of here for now. Oh yeah, we got a lot of green. Alright, let's just head in. Oh my. That doesn't sound too happy. Bread and... Food. So food. Overseer Martin. 
see what he's got. Do not be deceived by his talk of strictures. Lawrence's cries weigh heavy on his spirit. He has been a soldier, a highway robber, and a man of faith. Huh. He wonders which is more powerful, the knife or the tongue. He always had his sights set on the Abbey's highest office. I overseer, huh? There are few brave enough to laugh in the outsider's face. But a teak Martin is one. Okay, yeah, we did this when we found him in the High Overseer's office. Do not be deceived by his talk of Okay, strangers. never mind. So we have talked about Martin's him. Cries weigh heavy on his spirit. Gamble's journal. It's amazing how many overseers he's been blackmailing. It really is the key to the Abbey. Hmm. Your work at the Golden Cat was something for the poet's court. Both targets eliminated and Emily delivered to us without so much as a bump or a bruise. The city is better off mm -hmm. without the men you took care of, those loudish twins. And now, Lord Pendleton can slow the Lord Regent down in Parliament. Gum up the works. Hmm. Bit by bit, we're winning. Let's just hope the city lasts long enough for us to make things right again. Indeed. Bit by bit, we're winning. Let's just hope the city lasts long enough for us to make things right again. Alright, well there's that. There's this guy. He spies on his neighbors. And reports to the overseers. Oh god, I knew that this guy was too good to be true. Only after a long day of work will he return to his home and family. Hmm. He always eats very well, even as his wife and child grow thin. It is in the common land that the Abbey finds its most faithful. He steals from his business partner a little every day. Wow, this guy's a real prince right Some here. Some can still find work along the waterfront. Somewhere in the basements below, Hound kills Hound. And money changes hands. Nope. He didn't tend to that cut. And now it festers. Uh oh. The man is only as common as his dreams. All that he had was lost in the flood. Only after a long day of work will he return to his home and family. Oh my. It is a difficult time for the family. Perhaps we should not speak. I must fetch the morning garments. His lordship has never looked well in black. If only there had been another way. There was. I have always hoped to see the Pendleton name redeemed. For the first time in years, it seems possible. Alright, nothing more to say. And I'm stuck behind you, so I'll have to go out this long way. Let's see, what do we have for... Lydia here. Yeah, the servants don't like her. That's sad. Such laughter. And they're, they're singing the old songs. Linking arms. But that was from a happier time. Deals are made here. Nope. Sometimes under the influence of wine. And sometimes the influence is the point of a knife. Work is never done for the lowly servant. Before the sun rises, they toss any casualties in the uh. Men or hound, they all go in. Her servant wages will not be enough to fix her father's debts. For all the hard work, there is little reward for her. Yeah, she just keeps moving out of the If she lives there. until tomorrow, her day off, she will be mauled by leapers and left for dead. Oh my. Do not pity the servant. There is pride in the job well done. There is not a day that goes by she does not consider taking her own life. The house elf is treated poorly, but there are worse ways to earn a coin. The pain in her back is constant. Nothing helps. They top off the line with river water, but eventually someone swoons. Then the fresh bottles are fetched from the cellars. Work is never done for the lovely sir. All right, sweet. I hope his lordship is taking this well. Pendleton, I mean. I do worry about the poor man. 
I have a feeling he's not as sorry as these everyone thinks he should be. I'll be giving your quarters a good scrubbing. I hope you don't mind having a lady in your room. I envy your trip to the Golden Cat. They must have gorgeous gowns. Eh, uh, kinda. You startled me. You moved so silently, you could have been a dancer. A night at the Golden Cat, Corvo. I wonder if it's your first time. More than likely. Alright, is there anyone else in here? Hello, Mr. Corvo. I'll be getting on with my work then. Hmm. The Admiral says sound travels for miles over water. I'm afraid even to sneeze. Why doesn't anyone listen to me? I feel like a ghost. I've been practicing my curtsy, but it's not going well. I don't mind helping Wallace. He gives me the dirty work, but that's what I do. I'm accepting of that. Someone has to do it, right? Indeed. Their fate rests on your effort, on the strength of your hands and of your heart. She hides her hands. They are raw and scarred from the washing. Uh oh. But the common woman, she fears the abbey and the plague. She is a seamstress in a shop frequented by the wealthy. They stood in a circle around the candles and cut their hands to form their alliance. The blood hissed as it touched the flames. There is nothing in common about the work she does every day. Attention! The Please report unidentified or suspicious right. river traffic. Anyway. They are not followed. There's that. Yeah, that's the food. Don't need the food. Ah, Lord Pendleton's. And I don't need any of these. This is Admiral Hadlock's, I believe. First tale, we've already read that. Have luck log entry three. Huh. One, two, okay, let's see. Alright, so yeah, there's the entry one, by the way. Alright, so yeah, we gave him, we got out of here, it seems like. So. Awesome. Alright, so let's see. Number three. Pendleton was willing to go further than I thought. He served up his own flesh and blood to the cause, and I can see that he is truly loyal to the Empire. Could I have done the same if my brother was still alive today? Probably. Undoubtedly. Many innocents must be sacrificed for the good of Dunwall. Every loyal watchman that falls beneath Koro's Corvo's blade is giving his life for the Empire. Well, it's a good thing very few people are actually dying. Because I'm not going to kill people like that. That is not quick jam. Yeah, books, 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 books. Where is... Oh. Right there. Where does this go? This is to the... distillery, so nothing really there. This goes outside. Attention! Your first responsibility is to the city's health. 
A spouse, parent, or child showing plague symptoms must be reported. No exception. Alright, let's die. Well, there is more stuff up there in my room. I don't want to go to sleep yet. Oh, okay. A note from Piero. Corvo, thank you for getting me a live weeper. This is going to be invaluable for my old friend at the Academy of Natural Philosophy, as living plague specimens are quite difficult to procure. Rest assured, my colleague will handle this situation as humanely as possible. Piero. Alright, well there's that. Sleep dart, sleep dart, sleep dart. I guess I should explore before I actually buy anything. Wow. What am I supposed to do? Apparently my bed's mattress has been taken off. I mean, I saw Lord Pendleton's thing right there, so I suppose I'm supposed to go over there. However, I do kind of want to go, ow, over here. Oh wow, there's a way to here from out here. Oh, this is my bedroom. Oh wow. Alright. There we go. Alright, there's Lord Pendleton sitting out, looking out to sea. There's apparently a door here. There's also... S there's something up there. There's gotta be something up there. Is there something up there? I don't know. Ooh, I see multiple people. Oh, that's gotta be Callista and Emily. Alright. Well, I am glad I found this. Of course. We can give you the tour later, when you've rested. I was wondering... Do you think my mother is really dead? I saw her get stabbed, but maybe she was still alive and got better. Is that possible? I'm sorry, Emily. But no. She did not survive. Oh. Did you go to her funeral? Was it fancy and beautiful? A train of carriages rode through the city. It was very beautiful. Flowers everywhere. And thousands of people wept because they will miss her. I wish I could have seen it. I'm sorry, dear. Let's go in. I also want to see what these guys the are doing. The is sweet with honey, honey to hide, hide the, the taste, taste of the river ride. She, she is Callista Kerr now. She, she has learned, learned to defend, defend herself in this treacherous city. city. She and her uncle, the last of the Karnow family. Yep, and I saved them both. She dreams of freedom, and then the decks of whaling ships fast after the beasts of the sea. But alas, she's a woman. Indeed, sad. Such sadness. She is Callista Karnow. She has learned to defend herself in this treacherous city. She sees more than she is telling. Young Lady Emily. Mm -hmm. Poor Emily. Her childhood is lost. She has become a pawn in the games of men. 
As is the fate of young monarchs. She was bribed with sweet biscuits and oxen, calmed with stories of magic and seafaring, all to keep her sane in a time of turmoil. Hmm. She hides her fears. She seeks someone to trust. She clings to her childhood things, but they bring her only brief comfort. She sees more than she is telling. Young Lady Emily. Alright, let's talk to her. I mean, this place isn't as pretty as the Golden Cat, but I like it better anyway. You can see the tower across the river from here. That's where my mother died. Oh, yeah. I guess that is true. Sometimes I wonder about the man who stabbed my mother. Who was he? So I get to stay in the smaller tower while I live here. That'll be good practice. <laughs> I like Samuel. Perhaps we can take another boat ride soon. Perhaps. I've been planning for Emily. Lesson plans are together. A schedule is prepared. We will make life as normal as possible here. Nice. The horror she has seen. But all that's almost over. Now is my time to show my worth in this coalition. Indeed. I knew this was why they brought me here, but I didn't want to say it out loud lest it not happen. Superstitious, I know. Still. Alright, what do we got here? Cult of the Spheres. I, I actually think we've already read this. What do we got here? Trials of Aptitude. Yeah, we've read this. This was in the High Overseer's office. I'll take that. The Fugue Feast. I don't think we read this. A book, an excerpt from a book on the celebrations and holidays. At the end of every year, after the last day of the month of songs, we begin the Fugue Fest. The new year has not yet has not started, and thus the time that follows is outside the calendar. A period of celebration and feasting begins, during which the people abandon the very practices that keep them whole and healthy over the year. Many leave their homes, euphoric with spirits or potent herbs. Some paint, paint their faces or wear masks to conceal themselves as they pursue their passions without reservation. When the right cosmo cosmological signs are observed and it is time for the calendar to begin anew, the sitting high overseer calls for the hymn of atonement and the fugue feast ends. Families return to their homes, wives to their husband, enemies put down their weapons, and fires are extinguished. No complaint is given for those who have wronged others, deviated from ancient codes, or discarded oaths. For this time during the astrological alignment does not exist and is not recorded. The following day starts the new year, marked on the first day of of the month of the earth it is as, as it has always been my gosh it sounds sounds like the purge pretty much alright yeah, this dies. oh we're missing something what is this sweet hey gold is gold Alright, yeah. Teleport down. Let's go talk with Lord Pendleton. Uh, first, let's see what the heart says about him. To think, Lord Pendleton is the son of nobility. Okay. For one so steeped in holy manners, this loss do linger long on revenge and murder. Don't blame him. His brothers were scumbags. The younger Pendleton, jealous little Trevor, always in the shadow. <laughs> he is prone to skin infections. His eyes are sensitive to the light. Pendleton's ships come back from the Pandesian continent, crowded with war-frightened captives. To think, 
Lord Pendleton is the son of nobility. Alright, let's go talk to him. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. Mm. Where's Wallace? Wallace! You're promoted wherever you are. Head lackey. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose this means I'll have to have children, or else recognize one of my bastards. Indeed. This will be a new beginning for the Pendletons. I'll make sure of that. One can hope. Lord of Pendleton Manor. If Waverly could see me now. <laughs> Have luck on Martin now. Alright, so we have now officially used the heart on everyone here. I believe... We have everything that we possibly can get. Attention! Please report unidentified or suspicious river traffic to the city watch. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emma. You make this old military man proud. That's it, then. Alrighty. Anything else to be said? Not that the streets around us are pleasant, but there's no rioting, at least. It's better that we're hidden here in one of the more desolated sections of the city. Indeed. Alright, where's Samuel? Attention! Do not attempt to hinder officers of the city watch yes, or still nice. in their work. The city is not yet secure. Ooh, hello. Alright, nothing there, nothing there. Yeah, just a whole lot of whole lot of food which I don't actually need. I think here I'm missing. We've already read that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's... We've found everything that we need to find here. No audiographs. That's kind of sad. I don't think we've done the heart on this guy. Just to make sure. Samuel Beechworth went to sea to forget a hopeless love. He succeeded. Hmm. The boatman has a good heart, and respects you. Indeed. Samuel is a simple man, but he knows the river Red Haven and all its tributaries, down to the smallest inlet. He has many scars, some from the phlegm of the river crusts, some from the nameless monsters of the deep ocean. Huh. Samuel was once eager to hear Havelock's stories of the sea. But perhaps the Admiral is not what he expected. Hmm. Samuel Beechworth went to sea to forget a hopeless love. Alright. He succeeded. 
Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Yep. Let's Just climb do aboard it. when you're ready. I am 100% ready. So let's do this. Oh, did not read that, but oh well. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Gunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole of Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. Indeed. Deactivate the checkpoint starlight so Samuel can move the boat and find and enter Skokolov's home. Alright, let's take a look. Have I already gotten all the powers I can do? For now. Alright, so pretty much... I just need to get this, the second thing of this, the second thing of this, and fill out all that. And then the rest of these things I just really genuinely don't need. And then I really should just empty out my bone charge and just fill out what seems actually cool and could actually help me. I mean I have a good build right now but we will see. All right. Oh, objectives of obstacle flow. Okay. Mission clues: You've been asked to abduct Anton Skoklov, the royal physician and head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Your new allies want to obtain from Skoklov the name of the Lord's Regent's mistress, a mysterious ally and one of the, his most powerful noble supporters. Skoklov lives in a large apartment somewhere atop. Caldwin's Bridge. Okay, I have a crap ton of coin, so I should be good even if I exhaust my current ones. Drop it, Scott Lights. Alright, this time let's see if we can get all of the runes and bone charms we can, because I know we've missed a lot. And it sucks. Alright. 